Hey everybody, I'm Gabby and this is RVs with Gabby. If you are into camping and traveling, if you love RV life too, RVs with Gabby is the right channel for you. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching my videos. If you love my content, please don't forget to hit that like button, that subscribe button, and that notification bell so you never miss another walk around video. All right, I am so excited because July and August means that we're getting the new 2024s in stock. And every time I see a new one roll in, I always wanna peek inside to see what kind of changes the different companies have made. And I gotta tell you, Thor stepped up their game for their 2024 four wins. This is the 28Z floor plan behind me. Everybody knows that I love, I love Jayco and Integra's 30Z model. It'll be in their Greyhawk um, or in their Esteem, Odyssey, Odyssey, Odyssey. So either way, 30Z is the model. And let me tell you, if you're looking for a competitive comparison to that one with a little bit of differences on the inside, a little bit of different layout, uh, it'll be this four winds behind me. So let's check it out. All right, so this is the front of your Thor Four Winds 28Z. Not, not any crazy changes for the exterior, right? You've got the graphics up on the front, um, up on the front cap there. You're still riding on that 450 chassis with that new V8 that everybody's calling the Godzilla engine. Down the hookup side of the Four Winds, you have a slide topper up there so that's nice it protects your slide out from leaves and branches and bristles you do have a Schwintech slide out system i know thor was working really hard to um beef up those motors and beef up those tracks so that those um Schwintech slides had less trouble so I, I want you to comment down below if you own a thor if you have these new Schwintechs how they're doing for you if you're having a lot of slide out issues or what the feedback is. You do not have frameless windows, but you can open all the windows for a nice breeze as long as it's not raining sideways, right? So if you live in Florida, maybe not the best, but on-demand hot water heater. If you're ever wondering if it's on-demand, if it's circular, it's a tankless. If it has a square, it's gonna be your regular gas electric. Moving on down the side, you've got a 30 amp power supply, right? Your fill, fuel fills on the driver's side here. And what's this? Ooh, actually, I kind of want to start on the other side because I wanted to, to leave this for the big reveal at the end. But you do have two doors here. I wonder what they're for, Gabby. We all know why I like the 30Z layout. Uh, so this probably has something similar, right? You've got a ladder that gets you up to the roof. You do have a backup camera, right? You even have a bumper on this one. That's a big deal. Some models are not coming with bumpers uh, for the towables. And especially for drivable, you definitely want this, right? It's a, nice, it's a nice protective barrier. Just in case you get too close to a pole and you don't notice it, um, it's nice to have. Now, one thing I will point out, you do have a hitch that is rated for 8,000 pounds, guys, but it only has a 500 pound ton capacity. So be careful what you're pulling. Um, don't exceed that. And normally you want whatever you're pulling that the tongue weights 10% of that. So if you try to hold something over 5,000 pounds, that would mean that your tongue would be heavier than 500 pounds. And that's where I get a little nervous with that hitch. But aside from that, exterior looks great. Let's come around the other side and I'll give you the big reveal here. Awning is nice. You've got a light up there, right? It's a white awning, nice and bright. Uh, you do have you do not have side view cameras as I'm looking at the motor home. There's no side view cameras on the mirrors, no side view cameras down low. Uh, so you are, you are without that. You do have an entertainment center out here with an exterior TV, the radio, you can hook up your Bluetooth, listen to music underneath your awning, right? The uh, sneak peek to the inside of the unit here. They did some really nice decor options here. Two stairs on the inside. I do like that, that there's none on the outside that open, but it is a little bit of a big step up into the first one. So depending on how, um, how hard it is for you to take a big step up, you might need something to add to the outside when you park. Uh, the chassis is upfitted by MoRide. I will do a feature and benefit Friday on this, guys, but long story short, MoRide is the same company that builds the foundations for your fire trucks and your ambulances. So this motorhome is built on the same kind of structure as, as those hot, uh, those emergency vehicles, right? That, that you're moving down the road, you're putting a vein in, you're putting a needle in a vein going 55 miles an hour. So you want a strong flat structure that's rigid. All right, big reveal here. Drum roll, I can only do it with one hand because I'm holding the camera. Check out this storage bay, guys. This is huge, huge. I mean, I could fit three of me in there. 
three of me in here. I don't know why the power is not working for me. But anyway, back here, there's storage deep down underneath. There's going to be a place for your spare tire, though I don't think it comes with one. I can't get to it because my hand's over here. Here, let's try this. Oh, that side is locked. Um, anyway, lots and lots of storage back here. That's why I love these Z models, the 30Z, the 28Z. They all do such a great job because of the way the layout is. You have a ton of storage for a Class C. That's the biggest gripe with the Class C, right, is there's not enough storage on the exterior. So I really love that. You've got some outlets here to plug in a mini fridge, uh, maybe another TV if you're watching a couple different games. There is a place for your propane hookup right here. So you can bring a grill in your nice big pass-through storage and grill outside uh, right next to your awning. All right, let's head inside and check out the floor plan. All right, so when you step inside, you are greeted after two stairs when you turn to the right with this couch. Now this is a tr um, jackknife sofa. It opens up to sleep one person, maybe two kids. You have uh, seat belts in those seating locations. You have cup holders behind them. You can see there's a sticker that's backwards right here. You get a six year lamination warranty and a 12 year structural warranty from Thor, which is awesome. Right above it, you're gonna have a couple push button lights for extra light. And then check out these new cabinets, guys. Again, with the oversized doors, nice and bright white everybody's loving these colors and then you have these nice gold really residential looking handles now whoop, ha, look at that we popped off a little light i was too aggressive with that that cabinet door but uh okay all right i see you thor we've got the big we've got the gas struts so that's pretty neat because now i can access everything and nothing's falling down on me but i'm kind of short so this is this is really uh, reaching for me at five two to close these uh, so that would be my only my only negative to that let's see what kind of what kind of shade do we have here all right we've still got our accordion style blinds that's fine that's fine windows open for lots of breeze you've got a window up in the cap here so that's really nice uh you've got a vent there as well and then you do have airflow vents from the ac there's two light switches for extra light up top there's also a net up here so you can put uh stuff while you're traveling going down the road max load capacity is 800 pounds on this bunk now Seems like they're trying to keep up with the competition, huh? All right, so 800 pounds up there. That's great. Chassis is pretty much the same, right, from Ford. Your seats are a little bit different. They're the Ford seats versus when you're looking at an, an Integra or Jayco. They usually match the fabric of their furniture behind to the fabric of their chairs. So not too bad here. Still a bit oversized on the center console, which means the passenger is going to struggle with a little bit of leg room if you're taller. I would definitely recommend coming to visit us here at Orlando um blue compass on 436 and like taking a seat in that yourself to make sure you're comfortable with it all right across from us we have our dinette it is a dream dinette it is legless you drop it right down it's very easy you just pull this lock push it down and you don't have to mess with legs and things like that now four seat belts in those seating locations which is great you do have a car seat tether on the back of that left one and you have Oh, actual drawers that open up. Look how deep that drawer is, guys. A huge fan of this. Really good use of storage. You're not pulling all those cushions off trying to uh, get to the storage underneath the dinette. Now, great feature, okay? Huge. Lots of windows, but also I want you to notice they put a nice big TV where? Directly across from your couch. Okay, a lot of other brands put their TVs up here next to the bunk, so you're cricking your neck, right? They'll put it I don't know, on this wall, depending on the floor plan. And again, you're cricking your neck. So I really like that Thor always utilizes like, hey, instead of a big window here, we know what people want to do when they're sitting on a couch. They want to watch TV and chill. So we're going to put that TV right across from it. Okay, moving into the kitchen. Check out this gold faucet, y'all. This is so cute. Has a pull faucet and everything. And then you've got this cover and a nice big, almost like a farmhouse sink just one big deep stainless steel sink big fan of that those two small plastic sinks get out of here get out of here um you have three burner cooktop you have a little oven right there's a nice drawer for your pots and pans under here let's see the storage under the sink oh you got a little garbage can waiting for you that's nice and then this is going to be a wireless charger as well as a power tower 
I always get these mixed up. Somebody told me it was a wireless charger, then somebody else told me it wasn't, and then the next time I went in it and put my phone on it during a training, it actually worked. So, uh, to be determined, try it yourself when you get there. All right, storage above the kitchen, not massive, right? You're missing some cabinetry here, but there are those cabinets up above the couch that might work. Your center console here for your controls, like your tank heaters, uh, your water pump, your slide out, your tank levels, your generator startup, all right here. Your AC control is here as well. Now, your fridge is off to the um to the left here to the kitchen. It's very close to the bedroom. We'll get there eventually. But a nice big contour fridge, 12 volt. It is freezing cold right now because it is running off the battery. And guess what you have on board? You've got a solar panel. Yep, that's right, folks. Solar panel on board standard. That solar controller charger is down here. You also have, it looks like auto gen start. There's a little button above that solar that says AGS on off. So that indicates to me auto gen start. It's a nice feature to have, especially if you have uh, pets, uh, pets on board, they get left behind. All right, pretty deep freezer as well. Turning around here, opening your bathroom door. All right, same shower to everybody else, kind of doesn't look crazy different, except look at that neat floor. They actually changed the color and it matches the sides a little bit. It just gives it that nice marble feel to it. I don't know, a little more residential, right? They try. We have a shower miser on board. I've talked about this. Check out my feature and benefit Friday video for more information on what this does for you, but killer to have that on board the motorhome, especially if you are boondocking or taking advantage of Harvest Host, which by the way, now with your purchase for Blue Compass, you get one year of or you get 30 days of a harvest host trial membership and you get 14 days of free camping with thousand trails so that's a reason to come by from us huh all right tankless water heater turn on right there you've got your sink you've also got your uh porcelain foot flush toilet sorry i just got like bit by a red ant and it jumped off and flew that way so that that cut me off in the middle of my game all right you've got a nice step up here to get to the toilet um don't see a toilet paper holder though where is it nothing oh it's hidden under here all right there it is there so you've got that and a pretty big medicine cabinet big fan of that okay last but not least you do have a step here in the thor to the bedroom but this is your master bedroom you've got a Smaller closet on the right with an actual nightstand. There's a couple plugs back there. I would assume one of those is prepped for a CPAP machine, if I had to guess, because you have USB, you have 12 volt, and you have the 110 outlet. So uh, one of each, something's gotta work, right? Here on the left, you do have a big closet, bigger than the other side. That's where your ladder is stored. And then you have a hanging closet. So that's pretty nice. Again, lights above the bed here. So you just push those. You've got your reading lights. This way you don't have to get out of bed to turn them on and off. You do have lots of AC duct vents back here, so that should keep you nice and cool. And then you're prepped for a TV here. You've got the cable and everything ready if you want to hook it up. And it looks like your breaker box is in the bedroom in the back right corner there. Again, big windows. Um, that is the emergency exit. I don't know. I don't think. Oh, yeah, I can open it here. So I can get that window open and I can open the one across from it for a cross breeze. And that's, that's my Thor 4 Winds uh, 28Z model for 2024, guys. I think they did a really nice job with these, with this interior colors, with the faucets, the fixtures, right? Look, they even got some towel racks on the back of the door. I mean, we want to utilize these things. Like when you walk in them, they, you want them to be nice, but you don't want them to be crazy, like useless, you know? And I think... The functionality of this one, the layout of this one, the cost of this one is great. Now, I tend not to discuss my pricing on my channel because depending on the model, when it arrived, what rebates and discounts we have, it may or may not be the same price to get another one depending on when you're looking at the videos. So I always want to be accurate, but contact me if you're interested in this model. I would love to, uh, you know, t uh, bring you in and have you test drive it and check it out. All right, so now that the video is over, I have been doing this thing where I've been showing everybody what the slides look like in, or what the unit looks like with the slides in. I wanna make a note while this comes in that every unit is different. So for Thor, they require the parking brake on, the engine running, and just now I couldn't figure out what was wrong. The battery disconnect has to be on. So now this is with the slides in. Pretty good amount of room here. Actually, I could walk. Pretty decent. That's got to be a foot and a half between them. 
Uh, some other models, they do not require the keys to be in, in the ignition. Like Jayco, the engine is not running, but the parking brake has to be on. Yeah, you've got a ton of room here. I love this because it's only one slide out. So that's, that's it. I mean, you can walk around your whole bed. You could sleep on the road, although it is a little bit bumpy when you're driving. That's crazy. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I got to get back inside before I melt with sweat. <laughs> Till next time, happy camping.